Built by order of Henry VIII in the 1530s, this is the oldest palace in London. Are you ready? Stick with us. Here we go. Welcome to St James's Palace. A palace that's often walked by by many people without realising its longevity and its place in history and what the building represents. Most of this original building was built between 1531 and 1536 and most of the architecture is in a Tudor style. Although it's the oldest royal palace in London, not including the Tower of London, it's always played second fiddle to other palaces. For the Tudor and Stuart monarchs, it's always played second fiddle to the Palace of Whitehall, which we featured in previous videos over in Birdcage Walk. I'll put a link to that video in the top right hand corner. For a period in the Georgian monarchy it was used, but then it was displaced by Buckingham Palace in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. As part of the St James's Palace complex is Clarence House, which is currently the London residence of Charles Prince of Wales and his wife Camilla. The palace is located where the Mall meets Marlborough Road and is a stone's throw away from Buckingham Palace. Right next to it is Green Park and the nearest tube station is Green Park, which is right by the Ritz. Here we're on Marlborough Road and it's amazing that you can actually walk through these arches. As you can see, it's a pedestrian walkway which takes you through from St James's Park and Pall Mall. And it's great, so you can go under here as I am and have a good look. Today, the palace houses a number of official offices, societies and collections, and all ambassadors and high commissioners for the UK are still accredited through the Court of St James, an old protocol. The palace still has a chapel royal and it's used today for functions for the British royal family. The palace is used today by lesser royals when visiting London, including Princess Anne, Princess Beatrice and Princess Alexandria. If you're loving this, do us a favour and hit the thumbs up so we can spread this video on YouTube to help other people love London as well. Now, if you're coming down to this area, you must do this. Come and walk on the pathway, but come through these arches and have a look and see what's behind here. All of this is open at any time of the day, but come and have a look at this. See this light? Look what's on top of it, the Royal Crown. So many people walk through here and not realise the history behind this place. I love that they've made this road almost like the Mall in a red tarmac to keep the royal theme going between the palaces. It's fantastic isn't it, you can almost imagine the royal carriages coming up here with the kings and queens in to drop off here at the Palace of St James. And here you're looking at a palace containing nearly 500 years of history. The St James's Palace complex is quite sprawling. I hope you've enjoyed our look at one of the oldest palaces in London. If you like London history, then I put a playlist up in the top right hand corner for you, looking at historical places in London. And if you click on that, I'll see you in there.